We just have fun. We just have fun hooking. <laughs> and these elderly women are hooked. We're each working on our own product. Every Thursday morning, their group gathers to knit at the Sussex Civic Center. We are happy hookers. I would imagine that that gets a lot of attention, a name like that. Got yours. I did. <laughs> <laughs> you use a hook. You do not use a needle when you crochet. Aubrey makes animals, stuffed animals. I like to make baby blankets. I enjoy doing this, and I enjoy giving the things away to the little children. Our main thing that we do is we do baby hats to St. Joe's Hospital. Harry Belke estimates some 14,000 over the past 11 years, on top of the dozens of blankets and mittens for various organizations and food pantries. Uh, senior years can be kind of lonely years and kind of some sad situations. Seniors lose spouses, so it's really important for them to keep rebuilding friendships and do meaningful work. A sisterhood that spans generations. Aubrey White is a college student home for the holidays. It's just nice to get that different perspective on life because so many of my friends are my own age, so it's just nice to hear the different advice that they have for me. And lift each other up. You know how that would feel when people appreciate what you do, so we all get a chance at that. In Sussex, Sheldon Dutaz, WISN, 12 News. Awesome. For more information on the Happy Hookers Crochet and Knitting Group, call the Sussex Civic Center. The Milwaukee Police Department helped throw a holiday party for local kids. Officers from District 3 stopped by Bethune Academy to celebrate with children. The department donated money to buy the kids gifts. They also spent some extra time with them. Even though um, the students are excited about the gift giving, it's actually more than that. Um, the students had to write an essay about what they would like for Christmas as a class assignment. And the students did not know they were writing the assignment to be selected for this opportunity. So it's, it's incorporated into their schoolwork and into a celebration at the same time. This is an annual tradition between the school and District 3. And if you're looking to get into the holiday mood, you can check out Elves Studio on Milwaukee's East Side. The bar provides holiday arts and crafts that you get to keep. There are different projects that we've created. We have our traditional canvas painting. We also have our wood sign projects. And then we also added some new projects like our cross stitch and an Elfie wreath, we're calling it. And then kids projects that are little special ornaments. Festive drinks are offered to get the creative juices flowing. Prices range from 10 to $50, depending on the activity. Elf Studio will be open until January 5th. It is a big night for Star Wars fans. The ninth film in the Skywalker saga comes out tonight. This is a live look at the Marcus South Shore Cinema in Oak Creek. Showings of the rise of Skywalker started at 5 o'clock there. They'll continue until at least midnight at most area theaters. The movie is the final film in the core nine episode saga that started more than 40 years ago with Star Wars A New Hope. Disney does have plans for other movies and series set in the Star Wars universe. universe. They're even in costume out there tonight. You know Lindsay. I have a feeling, feeling Lindsay's there. She's got to be know? there. There's no question in my mind. Well, yeah, if well, you want to get out and see a movie, no, no worries. Yeah, don't have to worry about travel. snow. Yeah, dry roads, and that trend's going to continue for a while, which is great. So if you are hoping for nice, quiet weather as we head into this holiday, that's exactly what we're going to get. Let's take you all the way through Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, we're still dry. Now Wednesday, Christmas Day itself, there's a chance we could see a weak system that comes in here, bringing with it a chance maybe for some rain for us. But overall, dry roads across the upper Midwest, mild temperatures, 40s for six days in a row starting tomorrow. No snow around here means no white Christmas, but you don't have to go far and you're going to get a white Christmas because the northern, especially third of the state, has a lot of snow on the ground, and if you really like a ton of snow, there's over two feet of snow on the ground in Marquette, almost two feet in Duluth. This is an area where it's going to have a white Christmas. Same story in Wausau and Rhinelander, and then a little bit lesser amounts as you head towards Green Bay. Half an inch so far in December. That's it in Milwaukee. If we end at a half an inch, that'll be our feet fifth least amount in December history if we get no more snow. We average 10.6 inches, so we are way below average for the month. We're still above average for the season, though. And golf courses are reopening. This is crazy. You can actually golf as we head into December, almost to Christmas itself. Another good idea, 
Wash the car. This is going to be a busy place because of this nice dry stretch around here. Friday, Saturday and Sunday, Monday and Tuesday, all the green light to get your car wash. Next 24 hours, pretty quiet tonight. Temperatures down to 25, partly cloudy skies. No worries about any precip. Tomorrow, partly sunny skies. Temperatures get back to 40 degrees. This is going to be the beginning of our stretch of warm weather. Here's your weather watch 12 week ahead. Mild on Friday, even a little bit better as we head into Saturday. Not a whole lot of wind either. And then Sunday's temperature hitting 47 degrees. Of course, Hanukkah begins on Sunday evening. 50 degrees on the 23rd. And of course, that's the day that you can watch the Packers run right here on Channel 12 against the Vikings. Then Christmas Eve, pretty warm. Uh, temperatures of 47 degrees. Again, no white Christmas here. And then a chance for rain. It's on Christmas Day itself. And then maybe a few more showers as we head into Thursday as temperatures do start to cool down a little bit. The reality will kick in at some point. Just enjoy this stretch. Yeah, we, were we, get getting, it. we were talking about we're going to pay. Right. One yeah, of these days, you know, it's coming. What will January bring? We already paid wondering. back in October. <laughs> that's, well, that's true. true. We prepaid. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> it's day 11 of WISN's 12 Days of Giving. Each day there's an individual prize giveaway. Today it's a $50 Visa gift card from WISN. To win, you can enter on our website or app before midnight. Then the next day's prize goes live. The giveaway runs through tomorrow. Well, Dan is here now. The Packers have never won a game at the Vikings' new stadium. Now, it's only been open a few years, but still, and Aaron Rodgers gets a chance Monday to erase a lot of frustration. Stephanie Sutton reports from Green Bay, plus a new first baseman for the Brewers, and it's reunion night as the two best teams in the NBA meet. Steven Watson joins us live once again from Pfizer Forum next in Big 12 Sports.
Big 12 Sports, presented by Menards. It is rare that two NBA teams who are each 20 games over 500 meet in a December game, but that is the matchup tonight with the Bucks hosting the Lakers. 12 Sports' Stephen Watson joins us live from Pfizer Forum. Stephen, this is the hot ticket of the season. Yeah, no question, Dan. And it's a reunion night here at Pfizer Forum. The Atetokounmpo's are all in the house tonight. Giannis, Thanasis, and Kostas, who's a two-way player for the Lakers, as well as Alex, who's in high school at Whitefish Bay Dominican. And I was talking to Kostas moments ago inside the locker room. He told me it's great to be home, but he forgot just how cold it is here in Milwaukee. He's loving that sunshine out in L.A. Another guy who's enjoying that sunshine is Jason Kidd.